everyone! Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading here on my YouTube channel, Into the Light. Thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video. So today's Pick a Card reading is going to be about what is happening next in love. So what's coming up next around this month when it comes to love? So we have three crystals to choose from today. We have crystal one with the sunstone crystal, crystal two with the red tiger's eye, and crystal three with the lapis lazuli. So think about the question, what's coming up next for me in love? And let your intuition guide you to your pile of choice. Without further ado, we're gonna get started with the sunstone crystal. You can find your timestamps in the description box or the comments down below. I'll see you at your reading. All right, so those who have chosen the Sunstone Crystal, you found your way to your reading. So what is happening for you next in love? Let's figure it out. Okay, so we have Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. Okay, we have the Empress. The sun. Okay. I'm going to pull one more card here. Okay. Nice. Don't worry, guys. This is good. Okay, so for a lot of you, you have ended a, a relationship or a situationship or a connection with somebody that wasn't you know, that interested in you. Like, you could tell that they weren't putting putting their attention or time on you. They weren't giving you the energy that you deserve, right? This person was just, like, confused. Maybe they were going, like, really in and out. They didn't know what they wanted. This person as well, they could have, like, been really doubtful about themselves, which also made them doubtful about this connection, okay? But yeah, this is somebody that like was always withdrawing from a relationship. They're only concerned with themselves. They had a lack of relationship with themselves. As I said, they were hesitant. So you said, you know what? I'm going to end this. I don't want to go through this anymore. And if you haven't already done this, I see you doing this. And I hope that, you know, you understand and that you believe that you can have better, you know? Because we have the Empress here. You are beautiful. You are dazzling <laughs> do people even say that but yeah you're a very kind loving person you're very nurturing and you need somebody that matches your energy you know you're building your own empire you know what you want you know where you want to go in life okay you're also somebody that is developing themselves like every day you're developing something new you're somebody that wants wants the best you know you have this high standard right you're also somebody that like feels good about your life and you don't need somebody that doesn't feel good about life to drain you down, right? Yeah. And seeing the Empress here is like, you can be like sure that this is like the right decision that you're making in your life, okay? Yeah. You're powerful and you can create harmony in your relationships. And if somebody can't do that with you, then you move on, you know? And that's why you have the sun here. The sun is wonderful. This means right after this, you're going to find yourself somebody that is really loving. Somebody that um, you can communicate with. You know, you'll feel more accomplished with this relationship, with this new person. And you'll also believe in yourself because, you know, you got rid of somebody that wasn't doing it for you. You know, you told that person like I'm done like I don't want to be going in circles with you so you're really going to feel a lot of confidence as well right and you're also going to be somebody that like puts you in the spotlight that has somebody that will um have your full attention right and this person is going to be a soulmate you know this person is going to be somebody that uh, somebody that is really just really matches your energy you know there's that mutual love and understanding here right this person has really great intentions you can have a playful relationship with them right they make you you know 
take out your inner child and your inner child just soars when you're with them, you know? So this could either be like a past situation where you got over, you said no to somebody. This can be your current situation when you're like, no, giving you the boot. So take it how it resonates here. But that's what I'm seeing so far. So let's get into the angel answer cards here. Let's see what's on the back of the deck. The magician. Yeah, so you're manifesting this into your life. You're manifesting this person into your life. Maybe this other person has been manifesting you at the same time you are manifesting them. And all you had to do was get rid of this person that wasn't worth it, you know? Let's see what else we have here. Yep. Spirit saying no. Like the person that you're dealing with that isn't matching your energy, this person is uninterested and you can't just wait on them for so long, forever, you know? Get more information. This means for you guys, well, it can mean a lot of things, but for you, I feel that this get more information is about really sit with yourself and ask yourself, what is it about this person that I'm so attracted to, that I need so much? Like really get more information on why you hold on to this person, even though they are in this Four of Cups energy, you know? Improving health. This could be something that stems from a past situation where it's like this person, um, I'm seeing 555, so this is change. This person is... For some, this person might be very unavailable, like with the Four of Cups is unavailable energy. And this person is unavailable to you, but you are so attracted to them because, you know, maybe that unavailability is all that you do, you know, and you don't need that anymore. You need to know that you deserve better, right? You need somebody that is going to show up for you every day, somebody that is going to have your full attention, somebody that isn't going to be in and out, somebody that can communicate with you. Yeah, but maybe this isn't the, not, it's not the right time, right, for you. Some for you, for some of you, it's, uh, you're ready. Sorry, I'm just like trailing over my words here. <laughs> Give me a moment. So I feel like with not the right time, this is like, it's not the right time to be in a relationship with this person that is just unavailable, or it might be not the right time for you to really step into a relationship yet. As I'm seeing with the, the Empress and the Sun, like you have to gain your own self-confidence. You need to be more believing in yourself. You need to be more aware of your actions. You really have to be in this energy in order for you to manifest this soulmate into your life. And once you do, you'll be ready for that. You'll be ready for that soulmate. You might want to start a new hobby, work on something that you're building yourself up, work on your abundance, work on your confidence, you know, really do something for yourself. We have Between Worlds, Loyal Heart, And flexible okay can you see all those cards here yes you can all right so with between worlds this is about transition this is about moving away from this dark energy that dark side moving away from that person that wasn't right for you and stepping into your power see how this flamingo is wearing a crown as well like the the Empress Right? So this is the time to not be blind about really what's happening with this person. You know, it's time to explore new energy with relationships and new energy with yourself, right? So right now you're going through this transition period. So you have to let go of situations um, that are no longer serving you, right? And letting go of people that are no longer worth it, right? And with loyal heart, it's like you need somebody that is loyal. You need somebody that is devoted to you, right? You need somebody that, you know, you share 
same similar quality somebody that's honest and faithful to you somebody that you can have like true heartfelt um heart to heart conversations with you also need somebody that is oh, i dropped the card sorry you also need somebody that is flexible somebody that is going to um going to let you know like that you are important right so even if they're busy they're going to have time for you they're still going to make time for you right and this is also about being open to new experiences and learning new things right maybe meeting somebody new that might not seem like your type but you can really connect with this person right be flexible with who you let into your life don't just look at the physicalness of them. You need to really connect with them on a deeper level, right? Be with somebody that you can connect with like this, that you could communicate with, all right? So that's what I got for you guys that chose the Sunstone Crystal. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so if you have chosen the red uh tiger eye you can't really see the full color <laughs> you found your way to your reading all right so what's happening next for you guys in love for those of you who have chosen the red tiger's eye hope you guys are doing well all right red tiger's eye what's happening next for you in love what's coming next for you in love what's going on Okay, all of these cards fell out, like literally half of the deck. And I cannot take all of those cards. Like literally this is how many cards fell out. Okay, hold on. Red Tiger's Eye, okay, there we go. Queen of Cups. Some of you might be water signs or have water in your chart. Maybe you have a water Venus. We have the Six of Wands. Okay. What else do we got here? What's happening next for you in love? Ooh, okay. We have the Knight of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. So I got like crushed rose petals on this table. We have the Two of Wands. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's make sure you can see all of them. Okay, guys, so starting off, we have the Queen of Cups. So as I said, you might have water in your chart. Uh, maybe you are a water sign or whatever. So with this being here, this is you being ready. You know, you're full of compassion. You're really respectful. Um... You're a loyal person, you know, you're just ready for love. You're ready for unconditional love. You're ready for understanding. You're ready for having that emotional harmony with somebody, you know? So I feel like as well with the Queen of Cups, even if past hurts have happened to you, you're ready to like just let that go and really just be in complete harmony with somebody, right? And I see that with the Six of Wands here. Oops. Because with the Six of Wands, this is you guys in this energy of wanting to have a successful connection, wanting to have a successful relationship with somebody, right? So there's somebody that you may want to be with, that you have on your mind, you know, and you feel like you're ready for this. You're ready for this person to come into your life and change your life for the better, you know? You've already took those steps to changing your life, to being more balanced with your energy, with your emotions, and you're ready, you feel like you're ready to be brought this love situation again. Even though things might not, like obviously with every relationship, things aren't going to be perfect the whole way through, but you feel like you're emotionally ready and emotionally balanced to work through any kind of issue, right? 
And that's why we have the Knight of Cups here. I see somebody coming to you with a romantic offer. So this could be something very light. You know, this person has been thinking about this for quite a while, you know. Yeah, I feel like this person as well, they do have good intentions, right? They're a very welcoming person, like they're not trying to be manipulative or be in and out or anything like that. Like they're actually being really genuine here. This person is really charming, um, but they're also very genuine. They are also, you know, full of emotions. They're a great lover. So I feel like this person had to, you know, take some time before they came in and gave you this invitation to love, you know? This person might also be like emotionally uh, sensitive as well. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person might be as well kind of playful, you know? We have the two of pentacles and the two of wands here. So this is this is where things kind of <laughs> go a little bit a different way. So yes, you feel ready. You want to be able to have this genuine relationship. Somebody's coming in. We have the two of pentacles. So there's something that you need to adapt to with this connection. Like there is some sort of things that you need to juggle like maybe you guys are very focused on your work maybe focused on like school maybe focused on like uh, business whatever it is so you're going to need to adapt to a new relationship you're going to need to understand uh you're going to need to understand ways that you can balance out um relationship needs but also your own personal needs and also your um your material developments right so there is going to be a change happening in your life when this person comes in and it's going to change things very rapidly, like quickly, but you have to be willing to just let go and go with the flow, right? But you will have these fun times ahead. You just need to learn how to be more flexible because your person is going to want your attention and you can't just like not give them it, you know, like you need to learn how to balance relationship needs and your own needs as well. Um, for some of you, maybe there's going to be like you juggling two, not juggling two options, but maybe you'll have two options in romance. Like maybe two people might come towards you and you're just going to need to figure out like who do you want, you know, but that's for a very small percentage of you guys. It came up, so I have to say it. We also have the two of wands. So this is, you know, taking that initiative. You know, this is like showing this person that you mean business. Making your mark on this person as well. Like, I feel like this might be somebody that, because there's two horses here as well. I feel like this is somebody that has, like, came into your life at a time where, um, you know, you're still trying to figure things out with yourself. So right now, you're going to feel like when this person comes into your life, you're going to feel more like personal power. You're going to feel like you kind of like have things together, you know? This person might even help you widen your perspective about the world. You'll feel very courageous because the Two of Wands is all about like courage as well and power, personal power, right? Yeah. And I feel like because there is two wands, like maybe you and this person are going to feel more empowered together. Maybe you'll be like this power couple, maybe make some successful plans together about what you want to do in the future, what you want to put out there to the world. Okay, let's see what we have here with the angel answer cards. Got what's happening next in love definitely with the double twos i feel like definitely you're going to be collaborating with this person or something oh my gosh so we have abundance yes as i said you guys are going to be working on something together i don't know what this is but oh you can't even see abundance 
maybe as well like you guys are going to feel more because both of these are um hold on no flip down hold on what can this be what can this be Okay, so some of you guys might choose to just work on yourself, work on your own abundance instead of getting into a connection with this person. Or maybe this person will come to you with some sort of offer. And this offer is going to be something like romantic, but it's not going to be settle down, let's get serious right away type of romance, right? Because I feel like you guys are both still working on something yourselves. And it might not be like the time to settle down as, as yet to really have like a serious relationship. Like maybe you'll, you guys will see each other, go on dates and stuff. Maybe you'll start talking to each other online even more, like communicating more. But it might not turn into a serious relationship right away because Spirit wants you to work on your abundance. And then we also have within the next few weeks, within the back of the deck here. Yes. Okay. So what I just said, Spirit is agreeing here. So it's going to be communication, maybe some dates, getting to know each other, um, planning things together perhaps with, you know, how you want your future relationship to work out. But it might not end up being too serious right away because you guys are working on your abundance. Okay, but there's no need to worry here. And we have if you believe. Yeah, so no need to worry about this connection. Like everything's going to work out as planned, but you have to work on your abundance first. And let's see why. Because when abundance, because it's like maybe you guys aren't ready. Like you might feel emotionally ready, but maybe your finances aren't ready. Because I am seeing Queen of Cups and Knight of Cups. Right, but with two of pentacles and two of wands, it's like you still need to make a plan with your abundance, still need to make a plan with your future. So why is this abundance card here? Why do they need to work on their abundance first? Yeah, I feel like some of you guys had like some sort of loss. Maybe you lost a job, like most of the world right now. So you need to work on your abundance. Yeah, uh, maybe you also need to get rid of something. Yeah. Back of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So a lot of you may have lost a job. Uh, maybe you guys have to end something so you can start something new. Maybe if you haven't lost a job, maybe you have a job right now that you aren't happy with. So you're trying to leave that and build your success, your abundance. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So you guys are both having to build your abundance. Maybe get a new job, whatever. Because perhaps for some of you guys, might not be all, you are building this abundance for your future family. This might be a thing, okay? But work on your abundance first. There's a success coming with your abundance before relationships. Your relationship should be on kind of like back hold right now. Oh, gosh. Again, half the deck falls out. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, Between Worlds came with the last one. So that means like, again, you guys might be in a dark place, maybe not the happiest place when it comes to your abundance that you need to fix here. You know, you're trying to transition. You guys might be going through a transition right now. Maybe, um, maybe some of you are going through like a dark night of the soul right now. So you, a lot of things are coming up for you and you're still trying to balance out your emotions, your energy. Just take things one at a time. Maybe your person is as well, here and now. Yeah, so Spirit's asking you to be present right now. Don't think too much about the future. Don't think too much about the past. Like, you should be working on yourself, working on your abundance, before even thinking about anything else. Yeah, and then we have come to the edge. Never ending stories in the back, right here, back of the deck, but reverse. So it's like Spirit doesn't want you to go through the same cycles as you did like in your last relationships. And that's why you need to do things differently this time around. And that's why, you know, relationship, like a serious relationship might take some time because you need to work on yourself before you start, you know, putting all your energy into somebody else, right? So you have to be fully present in this moment. And remember, as I said, take things one day at a time. Right? And that's what this card is saying. It's coming up again to show you. And then we have um, 
and come to the edge, which is about, you know, taking a leap of faith, overcoming like fears. You know, if you haven't taken a risk with your abundance yet, if you haven't like done something that you've been wanting to do for so long, like it's been on like, like in the back of your mind, do that first, you know, take a risk with something, be ambitious. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys that chose pile two. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now. All right, so if you have chosen the lapis lazuli, you found your way to your reading. So what's happening next for you guys in love? What's coming next in love? Let's figure that out today. The last two readings were super informative. Like, I'm like, wow. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. I'm excited to see what this group is saying. Two of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of freaking Pentacles. Okay, this whole half of the deck dropped, but let's take the Seven of Pentacles. On top here. happening next for you in love right now what I'm seeing is like love isn't on <laughs> it's very interesting interesting back of the deck we have the wheel of fortune okay wow so give me one second here. So far, just like with all the pentacles cards coming out. Okay, just for this group, I feel like love right now isn't supposed to be something that you are supposed to focus on right away. You know, because here we go. Do we have the three of pentacles? And this is about, you know, working on a skill. This is about, you know, cooperation, planning, but it's also about somebody that may be too obsessed with detail, right? So, and also somebody that's too dependent on other people's opinions, right? So with this showing up, it's like relationships, like love right now might not be working for you as of yet because you aren't really focusing on what you actually need, like what your inner self needs, but you're kind of focusing on too much of the future, too much of, too, you're focusing too much on like expectations, like what do you expect someone to do? What do you expect somebody to show up as? You know, you're focusing too much on proving yourself to other people. Like maybe you really want to be with somebody, right? But you know that this relationship isn't you know, the best that it can be, but you're like, oh, let me just fix it. Like, let me just try and do this. Let me just try and do this, right? And this makes you kind of like in this this thing of like proving yourself to other people that you can maintain a relationship that, you know, can't, this person can't be like um, maintained in the first place, you know? Because we also have the two of pentacles, like somebody is juggling something here. Someone might be dealing with several things at once, like several problems at once. Maybe somebody's um, juggling too many options, right? So right now, I feel like this group, you're overstimulated. Like you're doing too much. Like you want to like work on yourself, but you also want a relationship and you want to work on this relationship, but you also want to work on something and something and something. Like when you are, when you have multiple things that you're trying to do at once, not everything can be finished completely. Like everything is like, you're going to put 2% here, 2% here, and 2% here. But really you should focus on one thing and, you know, focus 100% on that finish that 100% on the other thing, finish that. Even if it's not 100%, 80%. Let's put 80% of my energy here and then we can start on something else. So I feel like you guys want too many things at once right now, right? That's what I'm seeing here. But you guys need to be more in the flow. You have to go with the flow more. Because the Seven of Pentacles... This is about needing to check your progress, 
needing to check where you're at in life. Look at the work that you've done for yourself. This is reality check right here. Think about how you've performed so far, right? And also when it comes to relationships, think about like the ways that, like evaluate your relationship. Think about the ways that you put so much into it and then you left feeling like you didn't get that much out of it, you know? This is also about being prepared to have a new strategy. Having a new strategy so you can make your next move differently. Right? Also with the Seven of Pentacles too, I feel like this is somebody that is harvesting things, like taking things, but they aren't fully completed yet. Right? That's why this assessment needs to happen. Take a step back, rethink, move into a new direction. Because this is like you're hanging on to something right now that isn't very fulfilling when you could be doing more for yourself, right? Because what happens when all of these fruits, um, what, what happens to all these fruits when they just like you harvest all of them and they're gone, you know? So I feel like this group, you really need to focus on yourself. You've been putting too much detail into maybe relationships or expectations with a relationship when, you know, you should just put it, be putting that into yourself. With the death card, the space of a transformation, right? So I feel like you guys need to end something in your life. And I feel like it's the fact that you are doing way too much at once, you know? That's really what it is. You guys need to focus on where you're heading to. Right? Oh. Sorry. Had to yawn. I also feel like with the death card too, this is again, change, new beginnings, transformation, letting go of the past. You know, letting go of the ways that you've been untrue to yourself. Accepting a new cycle, right? Whatever circumstance you're dealing with right now in your life is blocking you from your next stage with love. And once you have that transformation, once you let go, we have the world here. You can come to terms with yourself. You'll really know what you need. Instead of trying to like f focus on like how other people see you or how other people evaluate you or whatever. You need to focus on yourself, right? Focus on your accomplishments. And then you can have success in relationships, right? So let's see what we have here with the angel answer cards so we can get like very precise messages. Yep, we have romance. Yeah, I feel like you guys definitely need to, like, go through this transformation right now. You guys need to focus on yourselves. I feel like you might have high expectations. You might be trying to fix something that, like, can't be fixed. Yep. Romance will come when you make, happy, like, big changes in your life. Right? Focusing on yourself putting that love towards you. We got yes, again, clarifying what I'm saying. And we have trust, trust in the future path of you, of your life here, of your life's journey. Ask your angels. Yeah. I feel like with this group, <laughs> you guys might be tired of the same old, same old. You're like, what's happening next? Like, what's going to go down? It's like you need to let go of the future of relationships and really just focus on yourself. Get rid of the ways that you used to, the, the ways that you've um, set these expectations, that these expectations are so grand and so big that it's like you can't even achieve them all at once, right? You have happy, happy. Oh, there's a white feather at my window. And look at that, higher power. I swear, there was a white feather at my window and that's like an angel sign. You guys are protected, right? This group. Yep. 
you need to focus so much on yourself and putting so much love into yourself that you can attract the soulmate, the divine counterpart into your life. But again, you need to clean it up. You need to clean it up. You have to wipe away the old parts of you and replace, so it can be put, replaced with something new. And trust spirit. Trust that the divine is helping you throughout all of this. You know, just put your head down and go with the flow here. Trust that everything's going to be okay. But I feel like right now you guys might have very high expectations. And it causes you to be conflicted. You know, you're doing too much at once. And you want too many things at once. But Spirit's like, take it one at a time. You know? So that's what I got for you guys. Make sure that, you know, you clean it up. Focus on yourself. And yes, you will have this romance. And again, if you see the yes, the sun and the moon, and you have higher power and blessed, like you will be met with your divine counterpart. But once you focus on, oh, and also romance here. But once you focus on, you know, yourself and working with yourself, you guys have to go through a transformation first. There's some kind of transformation that you're going through that will bring you success in relationships in the future and also like worldly success with yourself. If you're focusing on some sort of business or hobby that you're putting out there, yeah, I feel like you have to go through a transformation first, getting rid of the old ways that you've conditioned yourself to be and think when it comes to relationships, your old expectations. Yeah. So that's what I got for you guys. If you enjoyed that reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye now.